Hello and welcome to another day of devotions with New Life Community Church of the Nazarene. Today is Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving. And I pray that today will be a day in which you do give thanks to God, our creator and sustainer who provides us with all things, as well as giving thanks to those around you who love you and who have cared about you and supported you. May you give thanks frequently throughout this day. So as we talk about um, the devotion for today, again, I'm going to be using Sarah Young's Jesus Calling. And in that, the novelty and the thing that sort of strikes your attention as you read Sarah Young's Jesus Calling, as she puts it in the voice of Jesus speaking directly to you. So she says things like, thank me frequently, and you're supposed to read this thinking that this is Jesus. I will not be doing that. I am not Jesus, and I'm not going to read it that way to you. So I'm going to um, maybe perhaps remove it and make it more like what it normally is when you encounter the word, and I'm sorry if that takes away some of the blessing of it. But here we go. So thank Jesus frequently. Thank God the Father frequently. Thank God the Holy Spirit. Thank the Holy Trinity frequently as you journey through your day today. This practice makes it possible to pray without ceasing, as the Apostle Paul taught in 1 Thessalonians 5.16. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. If you are serious about learning to pray continually, the best approach is to thank God, thank Jesus, thank the Holy Spirit in every situation. These thankful prayers provide a solid foundation from which you can build all your other prayers. Moreover, a grateful heart makes uh, a grateful attitude, makes it easier for you to communicate with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. When your mind is occupied with thanking God, you have no time for worrying or for complaining. If you're focused on gratitude for all that God has done for you, it, it enables you to get past the things that you're concerned about. If you practice thankfulness consistently, negative thought patterns will gradually grow weaker and weaker. Draw near to me with a grateful heart, and my presence will fill you with joy and peace. So from James 4, 8, come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And from Romans 15, 13, or a fantastic verse, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is a powerful verse. And I really do think that if we will practice thanksgiving, giving thanks to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it will break us out of our cycle of anxiety and worry and fear, because when we focus on all he has done for us, then we can trust him with the things that yet lie ahead undone. God bless you as you walk with Jesus today and as you experience his gracious presence.